creatine supplementation, perhaps the most overrated supplement in the 21st century. It's widely acknowledged that creatine stands as one of the most extensively researched performance supplements on the market today. Previously, I've highlighted the many and varied benefits attributed to creatine supplementation, ranging from enhancements in strength, endurance, and even cognitive function. With its impressive array of potential benefits, creatine often garners the reputation of being a wonder supplement. However, a recent scrutiny arises from a meta-analysis casting doubt on creatine's effectiveness concerning muscle hypertrophy, which may come as a surprise to many of you. The aim of this paper was to conduct a systematic review with a meta-analysis of randomized control trials, investigating the combined effects of resistance training and creatine supplementation on regional changes in muscle mass using direct imaging measures of hypertrophy. The researchers underscore a significant limitation present in many widely referenced creatine studies. These studies primarily assess muscle hypertrophy adaptations through changes in whole body lean mass using technologies like DEXA and bioelectrical impedance analysis or BIA. Although BIA and DEXA scans serve as widely available and very cost-effective tools for measuring body composition, they rely on the measurement of lean mass or fat-free mass. Fat-free mass, however, encompasses various non-fat tissues, including skin, hair, nails, our organs, bone mass, as well as total body water. Considering that creatine supplementation enhances total body water, with much of its hydrating effects believed to be compartmentalized intracellularly, there is evidence suggesting that some of that lean mass gained observed in creatine supplementation studies, which employ BIA and DEXA as the measuring tool, may in fact be attributed to increases in total body water. Recognizing the inadequate sensitivity and precision required to detect subtle changes in body composition, the researchers of this systematic review opted to include only studies utilizing more direct imaging techniques, such as MRI, CT, and ultrasound, which provide more accurate measurements of muscle hypertrophy. Now, of the 44 measured outcomes observed from 10 studies which met the inclusion criteria, you can see from the forest plot displayed here on the screen that the pooled mean effect of creatine supplementation on muscle hypertrophy was only 0.11. Now, for those who aren't really sure what this means, a result of 0.11 means that it has a very small or trivial effect on muscle growth. So, have the benefits of creatine been overstated? Well, hold your horses, guys. <laughs> Let's get the record straight. While creatine does offer numerous other benefits, noting many with similar effect size, any evidence-based coach worth their salt <laughs> will emphasize that it's not a super supplement. In fact, they should quickly point out the impact of supplementing with creatine is at best modest. Even the most staunch advocates of creatine supplementation, like those making a living from selling creatine, will probably refrain from making extravagant claims about body composition and performance enhancements you'll likely experience by taking it. Now, I'd venture to say that this meta-analysis simply reaffirms what we've already understood about creatine. While it does contribute to improved hypertrophy outcomes, the overall effect observed tends to be modest at best. So what are my takeaways? While it might be tempting for me to discredit creatine supplementation altogether, the reality is quite different. Upon reading this paper, it becomes evident that this meta-analysis simply reaffirms what we already understand about supplementing with creatine. For individuals contemplating creatine supplementation to enhance muscle hypertrophy, it's important to weigh the practical significance of the modest magnitude of its effects. While this realization prompts me to discontinue creatine supplementation, those who choose to continue can now do so with a more realistic understanding of its impact. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video on creatine and please don't forget to like it if you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel and take a look at the description below where you can learn more, not only about what we've talked about today, along with all of my other products and services.